Hey guys, this is a GIMP tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys the basics and tools of GIMP. I'm going to make this just a little quick because my last video went um, well over 10 minutes. And um, so we're going to uh, first, GIMP is a free program. I'm going to have the link in the description. Uh, if you're just getting started, this is a good video just to get you affiliated with all the things GIMP has to offer. Um, and you really, it's just something you can play around with and get good at just by practicing. So, we're just going to open up, um, just a default 640 by 400. You can change that up depending on what you're making. Uh, SIGs are usually f 420 by 170, I think. And, um, Game Battles logos are 300 by 200. But I'm just going to go with the default 640 by 400. Um, so first we're going to take our bucket tool and it's on foreground black and we're just it should be set on automatically so click we're just going to do a black background and now we're going to do we're going to go to our brush tool all these are our tools you can just click on them and it'll they'll come down in a dialog at the bottom so right now we've got our brush tool and click on the square your brush is like the picture of it and i have a bunch of brushes downloaded it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to throw one of these on there because this is uh, actually I use this particular brush for logos like like um, Xbox if I'm using something for Xbox so I've got that and um oh god I'm sorry um so I've got my this is just a, it looks like a 360 it wasn't made to look like that but it kind of looks like a 360 logo so and now when you do text, just click on the text thing right here. And um, we're going to do just default sans and uh, size. We're going to make that a lot bigger. Make that a little over 100. Just click. And I'm going to type in XD team DX. Oh, that's too big. So what we're going to do is, hold on, I'm going to put this in the middle here. You're going to click. This is the, the, seat, the scale tool. You can actually use it to resize things. So go to a corner. Make sure oh, there's little yellow lines around and click it and come down with it so we're gonna hit scale for that to register and now we're gonna bring this up to the top or yeah I'm gonna scale it down just a little more so it can fit and okay I'm just gonna show you guys um, different thing you can do you can also do this with pictures um you can rotate just click on this is the rotating tool it's uh, one with another one tilted and arrows and uh, click um, you can click on it and make a little circle and then rotate onto that circle or you can just straight up click on it and rotate it like that but um I'm just gonna do it just uh, showing you guys and just rotate it like that and if you want to undo something hit control Z which everything I'm gonna show you guys I'm just gonna undo so I can show you something else so there's all kinds of you can uh, change it up like say I want to do it like backwards do it like that or like that, you can do it upside down. Um, you just flip it between horizontal and vertical. And um, if you wanna make this is called the perspective tool, and it's like right here. It's, I think that's a shape of a trapezoid. But um, you're gonna click on this, and whatever side you want the perspective to be, like I want to see it from the right side. Take the right corner and bring it down, and the top right corner and bring it up. And now what's this going to do? It's going to do that. It's going to make it look like you're looking at it from the side. And if you want to, again, I'm going to hit Control Z. And if you want to look, like, whatever side, say, I want to see it from the bottom. Then bring the two bottom, like, out. And it should look like you're seeing it from the bottom after you hit Transform. And you could be like that. And so you can really just play with this stuff. You can do, like, one corner out and another corner out like that it's really just just play with the effects just get yourself used to it and uh, so now we got that and another one is the um of course the scale tool like I already showed you guys you can use it to scale and if you ever want to color it like say I don't want that color because I accidentally did that um, go to this you got your layers dialogs these are this is called my uh, tool option dialog which is you can do you can add a tab like say I want to add a specific tab do like oh, brushes say brushes is a tab so now I've got this separate tab just for brushes but I don't want that so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out here 
So, exit out of that. So, you got your dialogue. This is my tool options. See, it changes on whatever I click on. So, alright, I'm just going to go and see my layer XCTMDX. Go alpha to selection, which is a right click and click that. And then you're going to want to click on brush and say I want to make that uh, blue. Just color it in with the br my brush is for some reason a wing, but just say you want to color it in and just color it in with the circle or whatever you got. And um, if you want to make it um, like a special kind of color, like you want it's called a gradient. This is your gradient tool, and you and you can blend stuff like colors, and you can do white to blue or blue to white. Switch it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna do white to blue, just just to do it. So now we got that. Now we're gonna go to select none. Just so now we're done with that, and that's that's our text. So. And if you ever want to insert a layer, so I'm going to open as layers, and I'm going to bring up one of my picture things. And uh, I make a lot of uh, video game ones. So I'm going to bring up a sniper. Let's just do a sniper. And uh, let's bring this. And uh, I'm going to resize that and make it a little bigger. And so we got our sniper. So here it is. And again, this is on a transparent background, so I can right click this and do alpha to selection. And again, you can um, fill it in white, I guess, if you want it. Bring it up here. And um, there you go. So you got your white, and again, you select none. Or, yeah. And so now you've got a white sniper, I guess, underlining it if you want. Or you can bring it down here. You can do the same thing to this. You can rotate it, whatever, like make it let's make it upside down or something okay bringing it up here let's just act like it's an underline for the XD team DX you can um, if you want to copy it like hit duplicate layer it's these two little boxes down here and bring it down bring it down and then do another one bring it down it really it's just playing with it. I mean you don't I'm not saying this logo is beautiful but um, I mean, it's just a showing you guys how to do this stuff, so, um, so now I got all this stuff, and, um, so what you're gonna, I mean, let's just say, I mean, I know this logo isn't amazing, but it's just showing you guys some of the tools you can use. You have your smudge, which one, I'm actually, I'm gonna have to use a circle brush for this one. Um, you can, you can, uh, like, mix all this stuff up, like, blur all this crap together, or you can just do little stuff. Like just like go layer by layer and make it just a blurred sniper. But if you want just a blurred sniper, then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to right click filters and then blur. Hold on, I'm gonna undo that real quick. That was terrible. <laughs> the right click, blur, blur. Then you gotta blur them up. I mean, it's just a subtle blur. And if you wanna sharpen them, go to your um, right here. Sorry, I'm like stuttering and stuff, but that's more of a blur. You can just go across your stuff with that, or you can do a dodge tool, which sometimes sharpens up depending on what you're doing to sharpen up. But um, your dodge usually just burns stuff. Uh, it, it can lighten or darken depending on what you want. But um, yep. And, um, your stamp, you can use, you know, you can, I mean, this is to, like, Photoshop. Like, if you want to, like, fix, like, a fat person or something, you can, um, you can stamp. You can, like, fix their wrinkles and stuff with a stamp. And your ink, which is, you're probably not going to use this a lot, but if you want to do it, you can use, like, different, different, like, you can do a big circle, just do it sideways like that. You know, I'll just do it like that. I mean, really, it's just playing around with the stuff. Just get used to the stuff. And I will have plenty of more logos, how to make game battles logos, fix, um, like, Photoshop bodies and stuff like that. So, um...